Hey everybody, welcome back to Magic Orthodoxy. My name's David, and this is a deck review. Hey, today we're gonna look at the Water Margin Playing Cards from Paul Guo and PlayingCardDecks.com. All right, so the Water Margin Playing Cards. This is a deck of cards that was themed after one of the great Chinese classic novels, Water Margin, also known as The Outlaws of the Marsh. You might have seen this as Sukuden in Japanese. Uh, the novel is about a band of outlaws rebelling against the corrupted government during the Song Dynasty. What Paul has done is he's taken 14 of the 108 heroes of this novel and put them into this deck. So hopefully you'll see all your favorites like Wu Song, Shi Jin, Chao Gai, and Yang Zi. The tuck case is all done in this royal blue and white. You have some Chinese coins up at the top along with some Chinese characters. Down there at the bottom, you have a tiger driving a rickshaw with two Chinese children in the back. It says water margin playing cards. One side says made in the USA. The other side says selected heroes of the water margin. The bottom has some ad copy about playingcarddecks.com and the top says poker size. The back is the back design of the cards and the large tongue flap shows all four pips. That is pretty much it for the tuck case. Let's take a look at these cards. These cards come from the United States Playing Card Company, which means they are awesome. The back design has a nice thin poker border, and you have two circles in each corner, uh, one depicting a raven of some kind. And if you look closely at the bird, you're gonna see that he has three legs. That's because in ancient Chinese culture, uh, people believed that there were three-legged birds. Uh, if you looked at them right in the sunlight, how their uh, legs cast a shadow. And the bunny is making the elixir of immortality with a mortar and pestle. Uh, you have that same tiger there pulling the rickshaw. You know, the tiger is known as the king of all beasts, and it's not not just because the Chinese character for tiger literally means king, uh, and we always see it displayed on his forehead, but the tiger is also a symbol of bravery and power in Chinese culture. Now, why is the tiger riding a rickshaw? Well, that's because on the traditional bicycle 808 deck, you have an angel riding a bicycle. So this is kind of a nod to that. With this deck, you'll get two extra character cards that talk about each of the characters you're gonna see throughout this deck. You're also gonna get two original jokers. Each one uh, says joker in the corner. One is Song Jung and the other one is Chao Gai. Your ace of spades is beautiful, it has some Chinese characters at the top and it features the tiger there in the middle of the spade pip. Each one of your aces also features a very beautiful animal, probably either mythological or real, uh, right there in the center, and I like that. Now your Pips and Indice cards are all unique, and each different suit is modeled after a different Chinese element. So the spades are the black peach, and the heart cards are the red peach. The diamonds are an ancient Chinese wine label, and the clubs are a plum blossom. Again, each one of your court cards is gonna be from the Water Margin novel. They're all done with a lot of expression, a lot of detail. You're gonna see their Chinese name on one side and then their English name on the other side. They're all adorned in these beautiful reds and blues. Well, that's pretty much everything I can tell you about how they look, but you also wanna know how they feel. So I can take 10 of these and put them in a caliper and measure them. 10 in the caliper come to 2.90. 2.90 is thick. So this would be closer to what we would call a casino grade stock. Uh, Paul says they're also a traditional cut. So that's cool. So 2.90, uh, that's gonna be the same as the Jack Wine Cellar Purple deck, the Denim deck that USPCC printed, the Z-Ray deck that Big Blind Media did, uh, the Union deck, the Citizens deck, and the Artifice Black Club deck. All right, so that's pretty much everything I can say about the water margin playing cards. I wanna thank playingcarddecks.com for allowing me to have this so that I could do the review for you. And if you'd like to purchase it for yourself, you can find it at playingcarddecks.com. I'll put the link below in the description. Thanks guys, I'll see you next time.